Yo, what's up guys? It's Toom and I'm bringing you guys some Remington R870 gameplay on the map plaza. This is a ground war kill confirmed. Uh, my Remington, right now I'm using a lightweight hardline scavenger dexterity C4 cap 40. And uh, this is the laser sight and long barrel on the cap 40 as well. And no attachment on my, or on the Remington, not on the cap 40. I'm using Hellstorm, Lightning Strike, and Sentry Gun. Um, this gameplay, I, I look, I just found this gameplay cool because you don't see me use shotguns often. A lot of the time it's SMGs, and when it is SMGs, it's either the Scorpion, the Vector, or the um, the MSMC. And I figured that uh, I would try and switch up the gameplay for you guys this time. I know it, you're getting bored watching the same things over and over and over again. And uh, I can understand that completely. That's That's how a lot of people feel about this game. And um, the other reason why I'm using the streaks that I'm using is because they recycle extremely quickly and uh, they're very, very fun to use and they're very, very easy to use. Um, you know, lightning strike takes like maybe a second or two to call in in place. Uh, the same thing with the Hellstorm missile and the sentry gun, you just fire and forget it and you just leave it. And uh, that's pretty much it. I also, I'm constantly moving in this gameplay. I think I, I am always moving even when I reload. And I found this gameplay very entertaining to play. I was playing with space. Um, if you guys don't know who Space is, Space is just, he's a cool dude and he's a friend of mine, he likes sneakers, he likes the same music we do. Him, Dreams, and I were probably, like, related in some way because Dreams sounds like me and Space sounds like me in a sense. And we all kind of like the same stuff and it's, it's just weird, we could be siblings. But, um, what I wanted to talk about in this video is, uh, if I could change, like, two things. If I could change a personal thing and if I could change a YouTube thing, what would I do? And both of these things intertwine with each other. Like, I always talk about being able to go back in time and change something. And uh, if, I were, if I were able to change anything about YouTube, I would basically take all of the knowledge, all of the networking skills, not even skills, but all the networking that I've done over the last two and a half years or year or so. What I would do is I would... Like like me now, like Toom in 2013, or Sazi in 2013, excuse me. I would sit down for about a day, write down everything that, that has happened, everything that I've experienced, everything that I've learned, be it from commentary, be it from people that I've talked to, to the games that I've played, how to grow, how to grow quickly, um, you know, tips and tricks for getting extra views, all that other stuff. I would take all of that, write that down in a composition book, jump in a time machine, go back to March the 2nd, and give that to the tomb who was, what was that, 16, just turned 16 at the time. I would give that book to him, and I would let him read through that, and I would tell him, follow every single step that's written down in this book, because it will make you more successful, it will make your YouTube more successful, it will give you less headaches and all that other stuff. I, I really wish that I had the knowledge uh, that I have now, I, I wish I had it, you know, back in 2010 and, um, you know, 2010 and 2011 and 2012. I really wish I did because I regret talking to some of the people that I've talked to. I regret doing some of the stuff I've done, uploading some of the stuff that I've uploaded, talking to some of the same people I've talked to. It's just, you know, you live and you learn in, this, in a sense. And I could say the same thing about, uh, I could say the same thing about, like, personally. Like, personally, I would, I wish that I could have gone back. I'd rewind the clock about a year, a year and a half, not even a year and a half. Let's say, let's rewind it too. I really wish that I had paid attention in school. Like, like I, I, I never really, I, I don't, I didn't care for high school because I always knew that it was a waste of my time because the things that I was being taught were, they weren't going to help me reach any of the goals that I had set for myself or, uh, <sighs> <laughs> or any of the goals that I wanted to set for myself or, or wanted to reach for myself. I, I I found high school extremely monotonous, boring, and not challenging at all. And now I don't necessarily regret not paying attention, but I feel as though that I could have, like if I had done just certain certain little things, I'd be in a better position than I am right now. But, you know, you live and you learn, and I no longer have tunnel vision like I had last year. I've identified some stuff for, you know, myself. I've identified stuff for myself that I love uh, and, you know, passions that I never thought that I really had, you know, be it, you know, kicks, cars, food, cooking, whatever. And uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm happy with where I am right now and I'm glad that I'm making progress and 
on building my empire so none of my family will have to do it after me after I'm gone. So that's it for this commentary. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Check out Dreams and check out Space down below. They both have Twitter. And uh, yeah, they're pretty cool dudes. So I'll holler at y'all later. I'm Tune. I'm out. Peace.